for the James Webb Space Telescope, celebrating quite the milestone this morning. It's been one year since it transmitted its first image back to Earth. With scientists from Arizona helping to create the very camera responsible for showing those historic pictures to the world. And in some of these photos, they look like blobs, right? And we were talking with the scientists about this yesterday. They are so much more than that, obviously. All new for this morning, I did talk with two scientists who worked on the telescope, and they tell me Webb's success, oh, it was a nail biter, was not always a guarantee. It's the most powerful telescope ever sent into space. This telescope was decades in the making, and it is just, every time I see a new image, I'm just like, worth it, worth it, worth it. It's incredible. The James Webb Space Telescope, a major investment for the worldwide scientific community to help us better understand where we came from. JWST is just the latest in a long line of human beings trying to put themselves in context to say, who are we with respect to everything else? This is a guidebook for us to understand how we came to be. Scientists from the University of Arizona, like Dr. Kevin Hainline, created NearCam, the very camera responsible for capturing the historic images Webb has transmitted back to Earth over the past year. You should be very proud as an Arizonan that, you know, this is a hometown instrument, right? That, that, all, the, that, that all these pictures really come from this, this camera that was built here. Across the world, scientists and engineers helped make the dream of Webb a reality. But room for failure was massive. Right, there was no guarantee that this was going to work. This observatory, again, back to the engineering, had 344 single points of failure. So that means uh, if any one of those actuators, mechanisms, motors, if they didn't work flawlessly the first time in space, we, we wouldn't be seeing these images. We wouldn't be talking today. Just one year into space and many historic images later. We're still just discovering what this telescope is capable of and uncovering the questions that we didn't even know to ask. The James Webb Space Telescope giving us a deeper understanding of our universe and what lies far beyond our solar system. And this celestial birthday of sorts is just the beginning. Oh yeah, we've got hopefully 20 plus years of JWST wowing us. And this year, if, if this year is any indication, you buckle up. The, the telescope is, is, has already changed astronomy and I think that we're gonna have many, many more years of astronomers looking at images like this and just being wowed and then going, well, all right, what do we gotta learn? What, what is in this? What, what, what's next? Don't they look like paintings, all those beautiful colors? It was just a fascinating interview. In fact, I'm going to try to put it on my YouTube channel because we had so many moments where I had goosebumps about, you know, possible life out there. Obviously, he wouldn't go totally into that, but if you think about it, so many light years away, you never know. Right, yeah, and I just, I love the collaboration between University of Arizona, yes. ASU scientists, uh, not only making Arizona proud, the world proud, but the galaxy proud. Yeah, no kidding, no <laughs> kidding. And we are clearly not done yet, Iris. Absolutely not. And you know what, my favorite part is, yeah, they're actually learning something from these stunning photos, right? Yes. Uh, one like us, we're just like looking at how amazing and beautiful they are. They actually pick them apart and, you know, learn something new, I'm sure, from every one of them. So thank you for that. Hey, as we talk about your most accurate